Hello and a warm welcome to your year 12. Your year 12, not mine, your year 12. 2021 is going to be our year we're going to spend together in the top corridor at Australia International School in sunny Singapore. Been raining a bit recently, but we will get there, trust me. So, we're going to have a look. I'm watching the video as I speak. Uh, clearly, I'm floating around somewhere in the corner. Don't forget, smash that subscribe button. Thank you very much indeed. So, we liken year 12. We liken year 12 to a climb, okay? So, we imagine it as being a mountain, which you have to climb. It probably looks like a mountain you have to climb, okay? Um, some people will think it's Everest. Some people will think it's Bukit Timah. Whatever. Your mountain is your mountain and yours alone for you to climb, okay? You are not climbing alone, however. You have Sherpas to help you which I will come to very shortly. When you're looking at this climb, how do you feel? What do you think? What's your worries? What are you looking forward to? When do you think the best moments are going to come in your year 12 experience? Will it be when you arrive on time every day and get a smile from Mr. Midgley or Mr. Sheb or Miss Dompaw? Um, Mr. Rose, uh, Mr. Bird, Mr. Harrow, your beautiful Strive teacher, whoever that happens to be. They're all a fantastic bunch this year. I'm really looking forward to working with them all. Or is it going to be that moment you have with your friend at your locker on a wet, windy Wednesday morning sometime in September, where you come in all bedraggled, uniform soaking wet through, the bus has, bus has just flown past you and splashed water all over you. And your mate turns to you, smiles and says, good morning, have a great day. And then just casually walks off and expects nothing in return. See, that for me, that for me is the mark of a year 12 experience well had. There will be moments like you can see in the video. We are looking around and you're not sure whether this is awe, wonder, fear, trepidation, excitement, or all of them wrapped up into one beautiful, beautiful bubble. Because everything is a bubble. Everything is temporary. Everything is temporary. Nothing is permanent. So let's make our temporary existence in year 12 at AIS in 2021 the best temporary existence that we can. Clearly, we are not going to suffer the cold, absence of oxygen, breathing through a straw, climbing with the aid of a carabiner and a rope um, in year 12. If you do, perhaps we are evacuating. Let's hope that doesn't happen, okay? But perhaps the analogy rings true. There are camps along the way. Your Sherpa is here to help you. I am one of the Sherpas. Careers is another one of the Sherpas. Counselor is another one of the Sherpas. Your Strive teacher is another one of the Sherpas. The Wellbeing Coordinator is another one of the Sherpas. And of course, importantly, your mentor is another one of your Sherpas to assist you on your quest to the summit of year 12 at the end of 2021. We, of course, are under restrictions still. The restrictions that we had in uh, term four of 2020 still carry on to this day. So expect we're going to have rotated lunch and rotated recess. Um, you will be expected to be at school at 8.25. Say that again, 8.25 in the morning. I appreciate some kids have got uh, sports or music or whatever it happens to be. Just let me know. Uh, that's not a problem as long as you've got a reasonable excuse as to why you're not going to be here. My job is, as one of your key Sherpas, to get you to the summit. And there they are on the summit of Everest, all very happy, oxygen mask off. Okay, trust me, you will have oxygen this year, if nothing else. Okay. What is Year 12 all about? Well, hopefully you'll find some moments of beauty, some moments of elegance, um, some random acts of kindness from your mates, from people who have yet to become your mates, um, all of whom could have the potential to surprise you. So here is a beautiful uh, painting. I think it's beautiful. Hope you agree. I don't really care. Um, and it's of the road crossing just outside of BCA Academy, just outside of school. And I pass here every day, um, either on my bicycle, on my own, or with my daughter, on her bicycle as well, or running or walking, or whatever it happens to be. 
um, I pass this place and it's fairly, let's say, concrete and bleak. Mm. But this student managed to get striated light, managed to get the long and short wavelengths of light. Ooh, sounded like a chemistry teacher. Tell me if I sound like a chemistry teacher. Okay. And now I look and I see all these beautiful things as I go past. So please keep your minds open for moments of beauty and selfless acts of wonder. Let's keep some sense of wonder in our year 12 experience. So how do we all begin? We all begin with a whole big 100 points. Yay! We've all got 100 points. Everybody, look around you. Look at your mates. Look at those people that even aren't your mates. They've all got 100 points. They're all wonderfully perfect and gorgeous in every way. At the beginning, day one, 100. So how do you lose points? Well, you lose points by doing things like, let me think. Um, I open the door, you walk through, or I see someone else open the door for you, you walk through, and you don't say, thank you. Okay, no big deal. Do it a couple of times. I'll knock a few points off. Um, turn up with no tie, turn up with dirty shoes, dirty uh, uniform, uh, unkempt appearance, not in compliance with school regulations for hair and all that stuff, which I'm sure we'll have many interesting conversations about as the year goes on. I'm, I'm here to learn as much as you are. Um, so you could drop down to, let's say, I don't know, drop down to 100, you start with 100, drop down to 90 points, no big deal. You probably wouldn't know I've got you on 90 points. Drop you down a bit further. Maybe I hear you use some naughty words in the corridor. Um, I find you, I don't know, breaking a rule in some way. Let's say you get down to 80 points. 80 points, we would have a chat. I'd say, have you got a minute? That lovely sentence. Have you got a minute? Could you come into the office just for a minute for a chat? I'm just checking with you and make sure you're doing okay. How are you traveling? Uh, what's going on? Is there something else we can do to support or to help you? I'm here as your coach. I mentioned Sherpa earlier. That, that continues throughout the year. Nothing much, you know, well, hopefully then you can claw points back and you, you build up and build up and hopefully you, you get back to 90 and maybe even back to 100. And you can climb out of the hole that you have dragged or fell into. What about if you get down to 70? Well, 70 points, that's when things get a little bit more... Um, serious and uh, I wouldn't hesitate to bring in less who should we call these people your loved ones your parents guardians to come in and uh, have a chat about how you are traveling in year 12 okay um, I appreciate some of you will already think I finished I'm done I've got literally three terms left a few cheeky exams and I'm out the door mm-hmm I understand but you are still at school we are still abiding by school rules. Um, in particular, uh, COVID regulations are exactly the same now, just to reiterate, as they were at the end of last year. Uh, we must stay in our own zone. The parents' cafe is completely out of bounds. Uh, the common room, I've been told, has a new sink in it. I hesitated to say that because I've not been to check whether it's there or not. Um, so I will check that and hopefully they're, they're, those things are correct. Um, we have a new bag here that arrived on here. This is all your silver ties to differentiate you as the leaders of the school. You are the leaders of Australia International School, Singapore. That little year six, maybe snotty nose, walks past you and looks up to you and sees a beautifully presented student. And I think one day, one day, I'm going to be that person. Wouldn't it be great if that person had a little bit of a, not a frown, but a, a, a pleasant smile on their face and they looked happy in their world? Because don't forget, you when you were six years ago in year six, you were looking up at you guys or whoever was in year 12 then going, Shh, wow, that's what I'm going to end up as. And please don't underestimate for one second the power or the impact that your manner in which you travel the way that you dress, the way that you speak, the way that you interact, the way that you use your manners is not important. It is ultra important. You set the tone. We set the tone for the whole school, right from day one all the way to the end of the year. So you may think um, people might be being unreasonable, that uh, you are one year away from being a fresher at university and you're being told to 
tuck your shirt in, or do your tie up, or polish your shoes. Yes, I have lots of, um, what's the word? Accoutrements. Um, shoe polishing, nail varnish remover, lots of personal toiletries. If you need anything, everything's at the head of your office. Uh, but we do take uh, uh, a brilliant basics and a zero tolerance. Brilliant basics, zero tolerance. I like that. Yeah, I'm going to use that. Approach to year 12 and the management of year 12 because you are that important to the school. Hope you understand. Thank you for your understanding in anticipation. Okay. So, um, what are we going to do in term one? I'm sure some people have already looked. It's on Connect. Um, I've sent it to all of your parents, guardians, loved ones. Um, clearly, the two days induction, uh, Monday, Tuesday. This is the first one. Hello, Monday morning. I bet it's raining because it's been raining for weeks. Um, this Wednesday, we'll be looking at what do you want? Um, I don't run year 12 as I am the, uh, I don't know, smartest kid in the room approach. I'm much more of a sage on the stage and uh, I want to work with you and uh, support you become the best version of yourselves this year. Clearly supporting you as well are the wonderful mentors who have all volunteered to help a lovely year 12 students. Okay. I'll do a bit of a different session on mentors and mentoring probably on Wednesday this week. Um, I would say 80% of students finish year 12, so the mentor made a massive difference to them and uh, they were central or pivotal to their uh, progress, success and general happiness, which is what we're after. And probably a third, maybe up to a third actually, would say, oh, oh, they didn't do anything. They didn't, they didn't help me at all. They did nothing. Well... <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, that's not what it's about. It's about you doing things for yourself. Okay, the, it's never the mentor's fault. Understand? It's never the mentor's fault if that relationship hasn't happened. If there is some personality conflict that you are not happy with, then please let me know, and we can have a look at that. But more in the session on Wednesday. I'll not digress. Listening to feedback from previous years, I used to plan every Strive session. I've pulled back quite significantly on that. Um, and you will find that Monday every week is independent study. What does independent study mean? I'll tell you next Monday. Wednesday. Wednesday is our pastoral program. Strive day. Okay. We're going to do things, hopefully, to put a smile on your face, to gender, engender some sense of uh, year 12 as a year 12 community, as much as we can build a community within phase three regulations that we are all expected to live under. You will see on the Strive plan that there is an opportunity, well, there's an expectation, expectation, for each Strive group to deliver a Strive session all on Friday, except for one, which is on a Wednesday. Um, and we'll see how that develops. It's the first time we've done this, so we're breaking new ground, so I find that quite exciting. Anyway, we have a plan. Who's there to help you? There you are. You've got assignments up here. You've got mates here. You might have Clark Key on Friday evening. More of that in a bit. You are at the center of everything once you come into school on Monday morning at 8.25 until you leave school or maybe even a bit after. When you're in school uniform, we, we, we still um, have an impact or an input into how you are uh, carrying yourself and behaving uh, both at school and in public. So we have the nurses, the counsellors, your mates, HSC and IBDP coordinators, your mentor, me, your head of year, all your teachers, careers, all these people are around you to support you, but don't sit in the middle of that going, I'm waiting for it to come to me. Year 12, we are teaching you to be almost, almost adults, almost adults. Uh, adulting is a word we used a couple of years ago. I think I still carry on with that. Um, so that, you know, you, you are being, and I'm sure many of you are already there, you are being a functioning, uh, successful uh, leader of your own journey in your learning whilst at AIS. Don't hesitate to reach out to any of those people in this uh, 